Hey, what's up guys? Steffi here. So, welcome to Stuff with Steffi. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. And a lot has happened. I got four wisdom teeth removed at once, so I spent majority of this time uh, of the last month or so in immense pain. <laughs> because for some reason the pain just did not want to go away. Which, like, sucks. But right before I got my wisdom teeth taken out, a couple weeks before I got my wisdom teeth taken out, I got a new niece. So I've been visiting her whenever I can. Um, I've had a lot of, like, financial things get in my way. And trying to make money and, you know, get work and stuff done. I really hope that was not loud. I'm gonna be upset if my phone ruins this. I've been applying like crazy to places and it's just not been the best. And I've been running my grandparents around, which has been, you know, doing that a few days a week. And I'm going back to school. My master's program actually starts today. Because I'm in a master's program. I got accepted to a master's of public health. Sorry, I need to make sure that wasn't important. And, like, you know, hopefully that's going to go well. Hopefully that'll be pretty cool. You know, I'm moving my phone away from the microphone. Just in case. But I started a new thing. Like, before I was just doing DoorDash driving because that's all there was around here. But we recently got Walmart delivery, so I decided to sign up for that and start trying it. And my car starts screwing up. Well, it's been screwing up, but my car, like, starts trying to not start. Which is so annoying. So it has been a lot. <laughs> just everything lately has just been a lot. And it feels a little weird kind of, kind of, I guess, venting to a camera, to potential strangers, but you know what? That's where we're at. And I've been working a lot in Animal Crossing, so I actually do kind of think I might do that next. Is show off all of the work that I put into my Animal Crossing island. Yo, I like it. It looks good. I finally made it to a five-star island. And I still have a lot of work left to do, so I might actually just record a video doing some of the work that I plan to put in it. I didn't actually expect to hit five stars when I did. I expected to have to, like, put in more work. But I went to get guidance and BAM! Five stars! And around the same time I got my first golden rose. Well, not around the same time, you know, you need the golden water cabin for five stars. But, like, it was, it was very quick that I got my, my rose. And I have not practiced this look at all, so we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to go kind of out there with it. Hence the light blues I'm using right now. Which I do not think they compliment me very well. I don't know. We'll see. I've... I'm not sure what else I'm gonna record at this point, honestly. Everything's been getting to me. I've been kind of wanting to, like, start a podcast, but not knowing where to start. 
because I kind of want to talk about cartoons, but I don't know what to talk about with them if I'm not going, like, factual. Like, this is what happens in the cartoon, this is who made the cartoon, which feels really boring. But I love adult cartoons. Adult animation is amazing. This is looking real weird. <laughs> Speaking of animation, though, have you guys watched, like, the new Futurama episodes? The one that came out this week is, like, eh, but I've, I've been really enjoying most of them. This shows up really bad on camera. We will see how this goes. I don't trust it at all. Do 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 do. Boop boop. <laughs> um. You know, I had a list of things, and I. I don't know if you all saw that, but that was a lot of. That's a lot of powder coming off. Um, what was I saying? I know I have been talking about cartoons a little in, like, the Futurama, and oh my god, the finale of Disenchantment! I feel like the final episode should have been, like, a little, like, an extra episode, maybe? But other than that, amazing. 10 out of 10. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. This disenchantment is amazing. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a cartoon made by Matt Groening, you know, the creator of The Simpsons. And it's supposed to be like Game of Thrones-esque. Like he was in, it's, it's not... It's not really like Game of Thrones, but it takes inspiration from things like Game of Thrones. I feel like I need a darker blue. Which I probably shouldn't be putting blue on my eyes right now. But we'll see. We'll see how this looks. Oh, and I was messing with the Blooming Up palette, which I've had for a while. It's very nice. It's, um very um it's it's pastels pretty much and i've got out one of my anime palettes right now <laughs> 10 out of 10 highly recommend if you can get them get them they're pretty darn good that one's got a lot of powder coming off too <laughs> hmm that's kind of purple And they have, like, a lot of pigment in them. As you can see here. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to talk while putting on eyeshadow. I don't know why. Something about it just makes you want to, like, hold your... Uh, like, at least it wants to make me hold my mouth open. When I do my makeup off camera, it's just like... The entire time I just have my mouth open for no reason.
speaking of, um, like, The Simpsons and stuff, I am so upset because I do not currently have access to Disney+. Plus. And I'm really wanting to binge watch The Simpsons. And I'm honestly considering getting my own Disney Plus subscription right now, even though... What money? <laughs> you know? You know when you, like, really want something but you know you can't? Because you can't have... You have don't have the money for it. But, like, you're tempted because credit cards exist. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a scam. Credit cards are a scam. A very, very legal and like infuriating scam. But a scam nonetheless. I am not loving this right now. And I've got my mirror set off to the side, which I have never done makeup with my mirror over there before. It's always right in front of me. But I can't really do that with the camera. <laughs> Without blocking the camera's view. So that's a bit bothersome. Oh my god. I um I was thinking about the animation thing again and I have been playing the fractured butthole. You know, the South Park what are the second South Park game on my Switch again? And I've played it a few times and I have the DLC and I have played the DLC. And 100% highly recommend. Honestly, might play some of it today. Oh, my sweet pea just came up. Hi, honey bun. Can I help you? She's just checking out my makeup. Like, what is this? What are you doing? Hi, baby. Can I help you? I'm not loving this. But you know what? We're committing. Oh, I was using... Amazing! I love it! There's so many colors. <laughs> I love it so much. Can I help you, sweet pea? Hi, baby. Is that it? Are you wanting me to move the stuff out of your seat? Do you want to get up here? Yeah, she wants her seat. <laughs> I don't know if you saw her, but she just climbed up and turned around. I've got like part of my screen there covered. Okay, getting a lot of not a lot of ringing for a single notification. That was weird. And that was, um, that was for the Walmart thing, the Walmart delivery thing, which is kind of hard to do around here because most people don't have numbers on their houses and a lot of people don't even have numbers on their mailboxes, which is so stupid. 
Where their mailboxes aren't at their house, they're down the road. And I just got a notification that something was at the wrong address. And I think it was where they screwed up, where Walmart support screwed up. Um, I I call, had to call them because I couldn't find the delivery address and the customer wasn't picking up. And they didn't respond to the text message. And I had perishable items in the car, so I had to get going because I had another order. And they closed out the entire order, but they marked it as delivered. Customer, er, driver support did. So if that screws me over, I'm going to be upset. Because I even called them about it, and they were like, well, we can't do anything. You'll get paid for it. For the chaos. Let's hope that goes well. Guarantee I'm gonna get a little screwed over. My hairline looks a little weird today. I'm not sure what's going on with it. My little sweet pea just seems to be taking a little nap. She's so cute. I love my dog. My amazing little fucker. Oh my gosh, she has been so cuddly lately. And I have no idea what brought it on because she stopped wanting to cuddle. And now it's suddenly like every night she wants to cuddle again. And I'm not complaining. I love it. I love getting my dog cuddles. With my almost 80 pound dog just climbing on top of me. Can you see her? Oh my gosh, you can see her. You're on camera. She's <laughs> just like, uh, what? <laughs> Um, oh, I mentioned how I've been thinking about starting a podcast. You, yeah, um, because I've, I've been complimented on my voice a lot. I forgot I mentioned that. <laughs> and I said that I wanted, that I thought about doing a cartoon one, but wasn't sure what to say exactly. Well, I also have been thinking about doing, like, a murder one. <laughs> you know, those, like, true crime podcasts. Talk about, like, serial killers and stuff. And I've been looking into serial killers lately. And I don't think there's a way that I can um, respectfully do a murder podcast. Because I feel like a lot of people would get mad because I'm one of those people who thought like the Tumblr post about Jeffrey Do uh, about giving um, serial killers rhyming names uh, is funny. Like, somebody on that Tumblr post put Jeffrey Dahmer the people nommer. 
And, like, it's not funny, but, um, it's fitting. <laughs> like, it's not funny what happened, but it's funny that it rhymes. Like, that you can make a rhyme about his crimes. Well, multiple, several crimes, really. Oh my gosh, did you, like... If I'm not mistaken, he gave his neighbors people meat, too. Which is like... Ugh. Imagine just being like, oh, he's just being nice and bringing us some of his, his extra meat that he bought. And is like, gonna go bad because his, his freezer's broken. And he gives you people. Imagine how, like, traumatizing it would be figuring that out. Like, that, that would be so awful. I don't get why... I, I don't get why some people are prone to cannibalism. Like, what about... What about looking at a person makes someone think, hmm, they look like they taste good. But not in the sexual sense. But sometimes it is sexual. Which is, like, even gross. Like, even more gross, I think. Personally, if I was getting eaten, and hopefully I never will get eaten, uh, I would hope it's because the person's literally gonna starve to death if they don't eat me. You know? Because, like, that's happened sometimes. Like, there were people that survived a plane crash, ran out of food, and ended up having to eat the dead bodies of, like, the pilots and stuff. The, the people who had died already. Because they had no other food source. So their options were starve to death or eat people. Am I saying I could eat a person? No. Am I saying I would? No. But I'm not gonna say, like, they should have chosen death, you know? Like, it's their decision. Um, in a life or death situation, you know. What you can live with is what, you know, the extent of survival. I feel like I need to cut a lot of this out, because this sounds very, um... Weird, and this is a very weird video, um, but I don't know what to talk about, and that's what's on my mind a lot, and I've already talked about, like, what I've been up to. My life is very, very boring right now. It's not like I, I, I can't really go out. I mean, my only friend around here right now has two kids. Hi, Jamie! <laughs> and I'm like, I got friends, and like... Texas and Spain and Georgia and you know the next closest person is like over an hour's drive away I think it's like an hour and a half or something like that so it's not like I can go see somebody else which is so weird it's so weird not having anyone to go see, you know? Is this adulthood? Just having to figure out how to be on your own because, like, good luck finding your peoples. Good luck getting to see your peoples. Good luck scheduling things because chaos. I'm trying hard to get this done on my face before the liquid gets the chance to dry, and it's a little uh, nerve-wracking. Oh, no. I dropped a sponge and I hit my mic. Whoops. 
You know, sometimes I can't tell what certain brushes are for. Because, I mean, I just, I do makeup for fun. I don't actually know brushes and, like, makeup stuff. <laughs> I know pretty much what I've taught myself and what I've gotten off of, um, like, you can probably tell. I learned to contour from drag queens. <laughs> Like, there's a website run by drag queens, and that's the only place I could figure out how to contour. And I feel like they taught me well. But you can, like, definitely tell. Because I go for, like, really dramatic. Well, I guess I technically don't, because I don't go super dark on it. But if I went dark... <laughs> The only reason I don't really, I'm not really comfortable going dark would be because I've been, I, I, I was in that family that, like, growing up, I was often told anytime I put on makeup that I looked like a clown. So, yeah. That confidence is a little hard to, um, build <laughs> when you spend that long, you know. You know what, that's starting to blend a bit. We're getting there. I like hit myself in the eye with that brush though, which really freaking hurts. <laughs> oh, but let me know if I should try to do a podcast. There are like tons of really cool topics out there. And, you know, I, I know for a fact some people like the sound of my voice and would definitely, I, I've met people that would definitely fall asleep listening to it. I've met some people that have, <laughs> which is weird. Like, is my voice really, like, nice enough to fall asleep to? I never thought it was. But then again, it's probably because it's my voice, you know? And you don't always seem to, like... I feel like, I feel like it's a lot easier to, like, discredit, um... Oh, I need to shade that more. To, uh... Blend, that's the word. I need to blend that more, not shade it. Um... Crap, what was I saying? I really need to take my ADHD medication, don't I? <laughs> Why is this one so dark? Okay, that doesn't seem important. It was an email from school, though. So I had to, like, look at it at least a little. Okay, please, please work. Please work. Please work. Okay, come on. Frick, now it's too, too light. It's hard to balance makeup. I don't know how so many people do it. How are so many people good at this? How are their 12 year olds good at this? I've literally like, my cousin's been outdoing me on makeup since she was like 12. Um, I never, like, she, she got to play with makeup as a kid, though, without 
you know, being without it being like a bad thing. Um, so I guess that's probably got something to do with it, but um, it's insane, like how well kids do makeup. Which, like, I. I say that like I wasn't in, like I'm not at an age where a lot of girls were good at doing makeup at a f fairly young age. You know, I wasn't. I was crappy at makeup until fairly recently. Like the last couple of years is when I was just like suddenly, oh, that doesn't look like garbage anymore. <laughs> So it's weird to see. Let's see, please don't be too dark, that's the wrong brush. I need to get like an organizer for this so I can have a nice little organizer set in front of me when I do these. But I feel like any brush organizer I get wouldn't be too tall. And it would show up on camera. Which would suck. But maybe one day I'll have more space to do this. But right now, you know, I'm not in charge of my space. I have limited space I can do things with. Which, you know, fine. Whatever. Okay, I gotta do like lips and stuff. So. Okay, so I don't really like this look, but I put on just a little bit of eyeliner. I have like a baby one because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with like going all out, you know. I feel like it still needs something. I put on my lipstick and I ended up putting on some dark eyeshadow. Oh crap. I need to put on my setting powder. That's another thing I need to do. But my lip has, I have a lipstick on, on my lip. And then on top of the lipstick, I have, um, eyeshadow, just dark eyeshadow because the, the lipstick was a lot lighter than I expected it to be, which I've never used it before. So, you know, it happens. I, f I really do feel like I'm missing something. I feel like maybe there should be like... I definitely need fake lashes. Maybe that would pull it together, but... I can't currently put on fake lashes because my eyelash glue sucks. So I need to get eyelash glue before I can do eyelashes again, which is, like, awful. You know? I don't want to pay $6 for a decent tube. But it seems like I'm going to have to pay $6 for a decent tube. But I want to have not put on mascara, and you can tell I have thin-ass life aggra. <laughs> I have thin-ass eyelashes. Where did I- oh, that's where I set my glasses. Anyways! You know, it looks a lot better with the glasses. You can see the blue on the eyes a lot less. I like that. Still needs eyelashes. <laughs> Anyways. I hope to see you guys back here again next week. Hopefully I'll be back. Um, that's it. <laughs> Bye.